A Green Bay mother is expressing her frustration tonight after her four-year-old son had a longer than normal bus ride home. They never even drove past. They missed the stop. They literally forgot about him. However, the school bus company says its driver did nothing wrong. We do treat that as a very serious matter. Good evening, everyone. A Green Bay school bus driver finding a four-year-old pre-kindergartner sleeping on his bus after completing his route yesterday afternoon. Lamers is the bus company for the Green Bay Area Public Schools, and the company says it does have steps in place to find sleeping children. And it says its drivers followed those steps. But the mother says Lamers should have done more for her son, who has special needs. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has our balanced coverage. Laura Van Stratton says her concern grew after her four-year-old son Daquan's bus didn't drop him off at the normal time of 3.45. I sit right here every day and I wait for him to get home. And four o'clock came and I wasn't early. I was kind of like, oh, any minute, you know, and now I'm standing at the door, 4.15, and I'm like, I really wish they had a protocol to call. Just after 4.30, Van Stratton called Lamer's bus company. She says she was put on hold after being told her son's bus had been called in as empty. Now I'm like, he didn't get on the bus? Like, where is he? Who took him? Like, you know, and all the thoughts and emotions is apparent that go through your head. When Lamers was back on the line, they told Van Stratton her son was found sleeping on the bus. How does the bus get called in empty, but there's somebody sleeping on the bus? Lamers school bus operations manager Cindy Lawler says she was on the phone with Van Stratton for less than four minutes. Lawler says she told Van Stratton the driver called in saying he just finished his route, not that the bus was empty. After the driver makes their last stop while they're in the route area, they stop, check their vehicle for sleeping students, and now the driver had just completed that. He found a student asleep on the seat. Lawler says that's when the driver brought the boy home. Van Stratton says her son was dropped off at 521, about an hour and a half later than normal. It, it's unacceptable. Lawler says she hadn't verified what time the boy was dropped off. How often does a situation like this happen? Um, where we have a student that falls asleep on a bus, it can happen quite frequently. Um, when you, if you have the consistent driver on the bus um, or the regular drivers driving, they usually learn who their students are that fall asleep. The driver on Daquan's route was a substitute. However, Lamer says he has been with the company for 10 years and has the same training as any other driver. That includes the requirement of pressing a child check alert button at the back of the bus when it's being shut down for the night. Uh, if they fail to go back and, and um, to hit the button, then the bus will not shut down. The horn starts to sound, um, lights flash. It's uh, very attention getting. Lamer says it did not get to that point for Daquan's ride. His mother says she will provide her son's transportation from now on to ensure nothing similar happens again. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. And Lamer says if a driver ever left a child that is sleeping on an unattended bus, that driver could be fired.